In the previous lesson, we learned that the planning of a trump game begins with determining the dominant hand and counting the number of losers from this hand. Let's look at the following example. We're seated in south. The contract is four hearts, meaning we have to win ten tricks in order to make the contract, or in other words, we cannot lose more than three tricks. West leads with the king of spades, and now dummy displays his hand. Let's determine the hand in south as our dominant hand, as this hand has more trump cards. And now we can count losers in each of the suits to assess our situation. We are satisfied with our heart suit, as together with dummy, we hold all the honor cards, so no losers here. In the spade suit, we see three small cards. However, the ace in dummy reduces our losers to just two. In the diamond suit, together with the dummy, we have three tricks and not a single loser in the suit. In the club suit, we have the ace and the ten, and as there is no further assistance coming from dummy, we have to count one loser in the suit. Altogether, we have counted three losers, two in spades and one in clubs, so it appears that the contract is guaranteed. Great! So let's begin collecting our tricks on our way to achieve ten tricks. West has led with the king of spades, so we will take control by winning our first trick with the ace of spades. Now we will switch to diamonds and cash our three immediate tricks. We will win with the ace, then with the king, and then we will win with the queen. Oh dear, West roughs and wins the trick. Just a minute, what just happened? Where did we go wrong? Well, apparently we were blinded by our eight trumps and ignored the fact that the opponents held the remaining five cards, which means that they too have roughing power. We played our diamond suit complacently, and then it turned out that West was short in the suit as he had only two diamond cards. In the third diamond round, West took advantage of this, played a trump, and won the trick. So now, in addition to the two losers in the spade suit and the loser in the club suit, we have yet another loser in the diamond suit, which we didn't anticipate at all. This means that we will not be able to make the contract, which appeared to be simple and straightforward in the beginning. So in order not to be shamed and embarrassed in front of our partner, in an attempt to explain how we failed to succeed in such an easy game, we should adopt a simple yet important rule. When we are the declarer in a trump game, our first task will be to draw trumps from the opponents and in so doing, eliminate their roughing power and remove the sword of Damocles from our neck. So let's see how best to play this hand. As we saw, West led with the King of Spades, and as before, we'll win with the Ace of Spades and take control of the game. But now, before we proceed to cash our shoot tricks in the side suits, we will follow the rule we have just learned and first draw all of the trumps from our opponents. We will play a heart round and win with one of our honors. For example, with the king. Note that both opponents followed suit, meaning that of the five trumps they held initially, they are now left with three. We will play another heart round, and now win with the ace. Again, both opponents followed suit, meaning that now one of the opponents still holds the last trump card. Therefore, in order to draw this last trump, we will play a third round of hearts, and win with our queen. Note that West held the last trump and was forced to play it. Now that we have removed the Damocles sword from our neck, or in other words, we have eliminated the roughing power from the opponents, we can breathe easy and cash our tricks in the side suits without fear. We will win three tricks in diamonds, one in clubs, and two more in hearts completing our 10 tricks and making the contract exactly.
So let's recap. In a Trump game, remember that roughing power is involved and can be used not only by the declarer, but also by the opponents. Therefore, it is important to neutralize the opponent's roughing power, leaving it solely with the declarer so that only the latter can use it and control the game. As we know, every rule has an exception, and there will be cases where you are not to draw trumps immediately. However, in these special cases, there must be a special reason, which you will learn about later. Still, All the while that this is not the case, your first priority is generally to draw all trumps from the opponent's hands, and only then to continue with your game plan. Now let's practice what we've learned. After login, click the Hand Play button. On the next page, make sure the option Practice by Levels is checked. Now click on Introduction to Trump and solve exercises 1 to 9. Enjoy!